Computer. Add a new folder. Name it diary. Add a new entry. Name. Current start date. Start recording. My name is Edric Sagera. Call sign Nightmare. My birthplace, a small, deep periphery world I barely remember. I only know it was tied locked. That kind of stuck with me. My home, once it was Gora Payne. My occupation, Mac Warrior. Since this is my first entry, I believe I should probably say a bit about myself. About my past, I mean. And where do I start? Well, I think the best way to start is with the words of wisdom my father told me. Your titles don't matter if you don't have the wit and the guts to use them properly. And he had both. He moved to a planet abandoned by everyone, seeing opportunity where others saw none. And a few years after we settled there, the few remaining locals held us in high regards and relied on us heavily for organization and off-world trade. Having a transport, having a dropship, meant you were basically a god on Gora Paint. And that landed us a decent amount of money. Money my father used to employ Sir Raj Montgomery, callsign Mastiff. He employed him to teach me how to handle our family's most prized possession, a Blackjack BJ1 model. And yeah, that max name and the shortcut were a cause of a lot of jokes. And that Mac is the only family, the only home I got left. So, I've been learning to dry that thing for around four and a half years. When my world kind of fell apart. Just the day after I turned 16, a group of bandits who are most certainly well paid to target us, rushed into our house, looted everything, and murdered my family. Me and Mastiff were just returning from the polygon when they were finishing their raid. They were about to head out of the loot when we cut them off and, well, murder them. They were no match for us, that much is certain. After we dealt with them, I ran through the ashes of my home, frantically looking for any, any survivor. I found none. The few bandits that survived our max soon grew to hate their destiny. I dismembered them. One by one, joined by joint, laughing as they begged me for mercy. <laughs> I kept at it for several hours before Mastiff stopped me, ending those poor souls' misery. That's one thing I couldn't forgive him for the longest time, but I understand why he did it. That night, I slept in my mech. That and many other, because that's one place I feel safe. Comedic, isn't it? One place I'm most in danger is the only place I can feel safe in. Anyway, a few weeks later, a transport came to my world. A dropship I intended to board and get the hell out of that planet. But before I did, an envoy wanted to meet with me. An envoy of the Magistracy of Canopus. Who, after expressing my condolences, offering me all kinds of places in the Mag 
just to see. Got a bullet between his eyes. You see, all that torture really makes people talkative. An abandoned of two mentioned that they were supposed to be paid by a magistracy envoy who's arriving on the next transport. Well, in the end the magistracy got what it wanted. Gora Pain is uninhabited wasteland, controlled by no one. All the residents displaced, living in worse conditions than they did on the planet, which is hard to imagine. And all I got was not enough revenge, money I took from the envoy, and the everlasting hate for the magistracy. Hate I managed to swallow, thanks to my old mentor, who guaranteed for me countless times, and found me a spawn in the army of the Oregon coalition. I quickly built up a reputation as a fighter and a commander. I rose through the ranks, earning the respect of my peers. And it was a strict life, but a good one. That life lasted for a while, until one day my lance was tasked with tracking down and eradicating a band of pirates who were stationed on the independent world of Flairton. They had us they had us completely outmaneuvered and outgunned. I mean what can a blackjack do compared to a stalker? Well we did that we could. Pressed our back against the mountain and focused on our fire one mech at a time. We took a few of them out and that bought us enough time for reinforcements, led by my old mentor Mastiff, to save our sorry asses. I lost a couple of comrades that day, but death was not a stranger to me. And for my tactical genius, which is actually just common sense, I was decorated. And for seeing me in action after all that time, my mentor asked me to join the Royal Guard of the Orano family. Now that's an honor no coalition soldier would refuse. No sane one at least. And less than a year has passed since then and I am to be Lady Orano's personal security detail, aka a bodyguard, on her way to her coronation alongside with Mastiff, of course. He is our mentor. But something seems off. These last few weeks, the throne world was awfully quiet. Some may call me a paranoid madman, but that silence, that serenity, it reminds me too much of Corapain before my family got betrayed. Computer, end recording.